One time my parents had just finished painting the house, the living room and redecorating it and uh, I thought it looked okay but it just needed the final touches so I got my crayons out and embellished every place that they had missed. You won't be surprised to hear Joseph LaPierre got sent to his room, not to be punished but to be encouraged to paint on his own canvas and that's how it all started. I always remember painting, yes. His paintings are tropical with a steamy island influence and southern hot colors. He doesn't paint anything that doesn't make him smile. There is a uh, gloom and doom and yes you can paint that too and that's somebody else's job, that's not mine. How painting came to be his job is actually a story in itself. Years ago, LaPierre was in a band that was a hit with fans, just not record labels. I guess there was a time in your life um, you realizing if you're chasing that carrot on a stick, we did well as a band, but to, to uh, be 45 and still trying to find a hit record was not what I wanted to do. So LaPierre got to painting. Turns out he was a hit after all problem was uh, deciding what I was going to paint and how I was going to do it. He settled on a technique called palette knife painting. Each painting takes a couple hours to complete and LaPierre says only one in ten has the magic to warrant hanging on a wall. Then there are some masterpieces that don't get hung on a wall at all. They get strummed. This one's called uh, Island Home. LaPierre creates top-of-the-line guitars from scratch, paints them, then sells them. He never quite got the band bug out of him, and he doesn't think the painting bug will ever go away either. And I'm still learning. I mean, it doesn't end. There's always a, a new way of moving paint, a new stroke, or a new way of, of seeing just textures and, and how one color fits into another is real important to me. Let's bring in Joe LaPierre. Joe, a local artist from Palm Beach Gardens who's been coming to the Arty Gras for many of the 24 years has been held here in Northern Palm Beach County and Joe was chosen as the artist to create this year's poster as Wally shows us the poster. Give us your idea as you started working on the poster. Well, it's not a tremendous challenge because of my attitude anyway. It's a little bit laid back and I was looking to, to find something that was just a nice casual South Florida feeling and uh, the hammock of course came in. I used the hammock on a semi-daily basis when the weather's good. I create a painting in the morning, I'll take a break, play a little bit of guitar, and, and it was just about just the casual side of life here. And it's basically my life. It works okay for me. It seems uh, like uh, the quintessential relaxed man of South Florida. Well, I enjoy that part. It's, uh, the art business can be that way. It's a, uh, there's a time of year, like January, February, March, get pretty much a crunch. After that, the rest of the year slows down a little bit. But it's fun. I'm not complaining. And you had a pretty good day today. I'm told that business was good, the crowds were great today. I had a great day today. Uh, yesterday was also equally as well. Uh, I just have a, a good following and, and well received in this area. And Artie Gras so is always You'll been be there this great. weekend. I'll be there this weekend. And you're a local artist, and we see some of your beautiful work behind you. Now tell us what you'll be showcasing this weekend. Well, I'll have about 20 pieces in the booth. Mm -hmm. I also have another 20 pieces at City Hall right now. <laughs> that show ends shortly. But uh, it's, it's mostly I paint with a palette knife. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It, it, this show especially is a new show for me. I participated in the past. It's, a, it's only its third year. And I think it's a great new venue uh, right, right here in, our back, in my backyard. It's even better for me. And now how long have you been an artist, Joseph? Well, I've been painting for, uh, since I was about uh, three inches tall, I think. When I just started, <laughs> I came out with a paintbrush, I'm sure. <laughs> and also, now, what do you tell the newcomers then that you see at this show this weekend? Well, mostly it's really painting. Uh, talking about painting is one thing. Actually getting physically in, mm -hmm. in front of the, the canvas is real, real important. Squeezing the tubes. If nothing comes out, nothing's going to happen. Or whatever you're creating, you actually physically have to do it. The, the painting time or the sculpting time. Uh, that's real important. Just got to go after it. Now behind us, tell us what this painting is right here. Well, that's basically my backyard. I'm actually looking over the fence to my neighbors. Uh, it's behind my studio. I look out behind my studio. There's a, a little artistic embellishment. That yellow tree there is actually tipped on its side now. It still blooms, mm -hmm. but the th things have changed. The, the, the bicycle is a uh, part of a, it's just, I like the low key things of not powered. It's man, uh, it, you know, the surfboard is paddled by man. The bicycle's paddled by man. It's that same kind of thing. It's okay. just uh, you have that whole theme going on.